In this video, we're going to be looking at how to um, use layouts in design in Qt Designer. Um, so on the screen, I've got a user interface that I have created, and this is using a number of different layouts, specifically uh, vertical layouts and grid layouts. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how I created this uh, user interface. Um, so I'm just going to close this window um, and I'm going to create a new one. And I'm just going to make the window smaller just so we can see everything on the screen at once. So the first thing we need to do is actually explore layouts. Now, you've got a number of choices, um, vertical layouts, horizontal, grid, and form. Um, we're going to play around, around with vertical and grid stage. So the first way you can do things is by actually dragging a vertical layout straight in. Okay, so here's my vertical layouts. I'm just going to kind of put it over here so it's a little fiddly because it's inside a virtual machine. Um, and I'm going to add two things into it. So I'm going to add a push button, and I'm also going to add a label. So I'm just going to get those two things ready. Um, so the label's going to be um, add a student, because that's what I want to do. I want to add students. I'm going to make that a bit bigger. And my push button will be just add. I'm going to name this a push button add student btn. Members should always name things we're going to be using. And I'm going to drag them and drop them inside the vertical layout. Now, notice when I drag them in there, it automatically puts them one underneath each other. And that's the idea behind vertical, lay uh, vertical layouts. So that's the first way we can do things. Uh, we can just simply create the layout first and drag and drop them in. I'm going to show you a second way now. So I'm going to have um, um, name and age being added to uh, a table. That's the idea of this app. So I'm going to drag in um, two line edits. And I'm going to drag in two labels. OK, I'm just going to do it down here um, just to get out of the way for initially. And in the first label, I'm going to put name. And this one, I'm going to put age. This line edit I'm going to put as a name edit. Um, and I'm going to call the second one age edit. Oops. Age edit. Okay. Notice that I'm editing it on the object inspector, uh, which makes life a bit easier. Um, now, at the moment, it's not really laid out very well, um, so I'm going to apply grid layout to it. So I'm going to drag a box over them all, and I'm going to right click, and I'm going to go down to layout, and then I'm going to choose layout in a grid. It automatically snaps to a grid, and then I can move this nice and tidy grid layout all the way up to the top. I'm now going to add a table, so I'm just going to find the table widget. Uh, which is here. I'm going to drag that in and I'm going to right click on it and go to edit items and I'm going to add a row called name I'm going to add a row, sorry, column called age. Click on OK. I'm not going to put any details on it yet. Now at the moment it's still a bit untidy so I'm going to drag a mouse around all of it and I'm going to choose grid layout again. So layout, grid layout. I see it snaps to a grid, so I'm just going to maybe um, shrink that whole grid down. If I can click on it, choose it over here maybe, there we go. Okay, and then I'm going to just make this whole thing a bit smaller as well. And there's my basic app and layouts. Now I'm aware that it doesn't look the most exciting. What I'm really trying to do is show you how to apply layouts. That was the goal of this. I'm sure you can create much more uh, interesting designs than I.